It's Weenie Wheels Wednesday. We're looking at my solid car collection, solid color car collection, and my recent pickups coming up after this. Yeah, I haven't taken pictures for Instagram. Actually, I have taken pictures for Instagram before and not put them up. So I still never know what cars I have. But, you know, Hot Wheels, the cars go away. They show up and they go away. Sometimes they repeat. Like, for example, I'll start with my pickups today. This car I saw at... Walmart in one of the giant bins and I saw the other two colors of this and I thought it was really weird that they were all together Maybe Mattel reissues reissues them together. Maybe somebody returned them That would have been really weird and coincidence that I found them all together I'm, I'm thinking that they reissued them in a case to put all the colors together They had the old logo where it doesn't where it's squished and I'll show you I have them in my solid color collection cars this is a good day to do the solid color collection because I found so many that I like. So usually I collect series and then if there's a classic classic car I'll get it or a Jeep like or I don't even know what this is. What is this? The GMC Hummer. And I guess Hummers are I do like I feel bad for liking Hummers because you know, they use a lot of gas and they're not environmentally friendly. Apparently this one is though because it's in the green speed machine and I often want to collect the green ones, but sometimes they just look silly. But this is a solid color, jeepy looking car. Like it's, it's a beauty and yeah, I, I am really drawn to yellow recently. And speaking of yellow, I think I showed you this one. Uh, last time. This is uh, the super treasure hunt. So I seem to be getting it's almost retro with it's a 99 Honda Civic. But it's a solid color. I love the red interior. And because it goes with the special gold one that I did find, cool. And again, I'm obsessed with yellow right now. Here is the other. This is the recent case that we have. I'm not sure what the letter is, but this is what the treasure hunt would be. The super treasure hunt would be this one. So I have been picking up all of the treasure hunts. Now see how it's already metallic-y. I don't know, that doesn't really go in with my solid colors. Maybe it does. I've got like this racing car box that I kind of keep those things. I found a new Chevy Bel Air which let me show you the collection of those. And I found a new Volkswagen. So these are two collections that I am collecting, two series or two sub-series that I'm collecting this year. And I love this retro Volkswagen, nice in green. And then the Bel Air redecoed. I wonder if they're gonna do all five. They seem to be doing those in order. I'll show you that in a second. And this one, I believe the one that I'm missing, the only one that I didn't find from this case that I really need to get that's not a super or a treasure is uh, the DeLorean with its wheels down. Not with its wheels up. I have that one from earlier, I think this year. These two black cars, this kit is awesome. I think that it is a Mattel inspired Knight Rider. There's no new movie or TV show or anything coming out, but, or maybe there is, but I think this one is just Mattel made it what Kit would look like and it's Kit Super Pursuit Mode, or maybe they just, that's the Super Pursuit Mode. It's been a long time since I've seen Knight Rider, but it's cool. There's seven of 10 from the movies. I usually get all of the movie ones too. Some, some of the, TV show ones are, I don't know, sometimes I don't want them though. And then this one is just really cool. It's a 70 Dodge Charger. So it's a retro solid color car. You're, I'm gonna definitely jump on that every time I see one of those, no matter what series they're in. It's really coolly painted, but it's definitely going in my black cars. Let's uh, take a look at the Volkswagen, which, my cards got really 
banged up, but I do plan on opening these once I get the full collection. So we have one and two, so those are two, which is kind of funny because the first two from the Bel Air were in blue and green. I'm curious to find out if that, that will continue on as we go along. But then, okay, so there's only two released in the Volkswagen, or the Wagons series is what they're calling it. And then the Bel Air ones. So I have uh, these two. These are the number ones in two different decos. The blue came out first and the red. And then they had number two, which I just had. And uh, the green came out first. And then they released it in purple. And then, oh yeah, and here we're caught up three. The red one came out. And then we just got it, or I just got it in gold. The states, I think, are a bit ahead of me, but maybe that's not true because your comments on here always seem to be, you get, you guys are seeing the same cases at the same time I am. I think I, um, a lot of people just get previews from Mattel or they're from Malaysia, gets them really um, way earlier than we do. And then these are the other two. Are we going to get these four and five redecoed as well? I think we are. I think they're making two of each of these. I'm going to have to double check. I think I already have double checked, but I forget. I mean, there's a lot of cars here to keep track of. Okay, so the other thing that I really wanted to show you was this box full of my solid colored ones. So red is my favorite color, so I really... Even if they're not that retro-y, I'm still going to get them. This is one new new this year. Oh, these are both new this year. You can tell by the logo goes off the card for the new ones. It's the latest wave. And then look at all these red ones. They look so good together. So 84 Audi, 89 Porsche. 16 Lamborghini. There's an example of a, a new car. Lamborghinis are just cool. And then a Land Rover. Oh man, that's that's a nice looking car. And another Land Rover truck. Those are beautiful. And I guess I really do love Land Rovers. And Hummers, unfortunately. Okay, and here are the other two that I found and you can see see how the logo is smaller on the card I believe those were from last year does it say on them it says 2020 on them but that doesn't mean they're not from 2021 and then this one is a redeco of those so white is definitely my favorite color out of the three of them the first two were oh yeah because they are the same number two that they would be the same and then, yeah, it's cool to have three of those. And I guess I keep those colors together despite them being. And I guess I'll put my red ones all together. All right, and in here we got some white ones, some more white ones, which you can see why I like those ones. Utilitarian GPs. Of course, I'm going to love those. Here's a gold one which is a new car, but it's an 89 Porsche. I wanted to collect that whole Porsche series, but I don't think I ended up getting them all. And here is, oh, here's the, here's, oh, a white, another white one. I guess I'm gonna put the new ones in this box. Some other black ones. Uh, every black car is gonna look really cool. So these are my black ones. As you can see there, they are super classics. And a nice pickup truck there, a GMC. And here is the yellow collection. So here are some of the yellow ones that I've had before. Oh, and here are some other yellow ones. It's a nice uh, Volvo there. Is it the same? Did I get a Volvo this time in the green? It's an 850. It's an 850 estate. It's the same mold as that green one that I just got. And then, oh yeah, so I'm gonna 
I'm gonna, when I put these back, I'm gonna add those ones into uh, the mix for the yellow collection. I guess I'm gonna open them one day and just put, start a, a get a box for yellow. Here's all my Teslas. Actually, it's not all of my Teslas. I think that was the second issue of them, but this car is just so cool. I just kept buying them because there's nothing like that Hot Wheels. It's a real special one. And then here are my blue ones, which some of these we've seen before. Yeah, because I do tend to like the, I do tend to like the same cars. So we've seen this Ford Bronco before. We've just looked at that Land Rover in a different color. Uh, that Bugatti is a 94, but that's cool. I don't know if I'm, I, I think there's been a few of those Bugattis and I haven't gotten them all. That Toyota Land Cruiser is definitely sweet. It looks very similar to this one. This is why I have to take pictures so I know if I have them or not. Even though, do I really need to get any more? They do excite me, though, when I do see these retro solid colors. Here's a silver collection. I got some deco on some of these, though. There's that 94 Audi. I mean, that's not really retro anywhere. That Mercedes Benz, I do have in a few colors, which you probably noticed. Um, Mercedes right here. But that has deco, and so does this one has some kind of uh, camo, camo deco on it. Are there any silver? other silver ones here? Oh yeah, here are the other Teslas. I think they changed the wheels on these two. Oh, wait, what one is, maybe those are, those are the same. Maybe they put them under, I'm, I heard they changed the wheels. Yeah, the wheels are changed. I guess these ones go with that. These, I got five of those and just one of those with the new wheels. I guess that makes sense. This is when it first came out. And then I probably just got one of the other ones. Oh, here's a, here's a great section. Am I gonna put my Volkswagens? My green Volkswagen, am I gonna split up the set and put it with the colored ones? But here are some green machines. And those are pretty sweet, except for that weird one. That one's pretty weird. That's unlike me to get the Impavid dough. Impavido. Hot Wheels Exotics. It's kinda cool. There's stripes on it. Look at this. Dream car. Hey, is there mud on that one? Yeah, there is mud. It's not like my mud studs. Those are great, though. I would I would cruise around in any of those. And then the last ones here in the pack are these orange ones, which do have some deco on them, but you can see, again, they're trucks and Jeeps, and I guess that's what I like. Trucks and Jeeps and classic cars. All right, that's what we looked at today. Pretty good, pretty good haul. I do need to find that DeLorean. I think it really wasn't the case. Uh, Walmart got a lot of cases and um, people knew it and all of the people have run to the store. For some reason, they don't go to the grocery store. They don't really care that much and they don't go to the Dollar Tree very much. So I do tend to find that there's only a handful of guys that I'll see looking at the Hot Wheels at the those places. But when Walmart gets them, everybody goes crazy. And there's people scouring and ripping them and throwing them around. And it's a disaster. Really, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Now I have to put all the stuff back. That's that's the hardest part. This will just put it in. It, Hot Wheels is what makes me often question 
my toy collecting seems kind of wrong because I do buy so many and then I just definitely directly stick them into a box so that's not really cool is it I better put my Teslas with the silver ones I don't think watching me put my cars away makes for entertaining YouTube though, does it? I mean, maybe if you could see what I was doing, huh? <laughs> 